What are you doing here? Happy Thanksgiving to you two. I is there any turkey left? Yeah, aren't you supposed to be in Mexico? I thought your mother was sick, or uh, uh, I'm guessing she's feeling better. Do you think you care about me or anybody in my family? Yeah, I don't. What I did care about was you being as far away as you were. Actually, you want to know what I am grateful for? Is it that giant glass of scotch in your hand? No. You being out of our lives for good. So why don't you skedaddle back to uh, Mexico or hell or wherever it is you came from? This is my home. Not anymore. Not after what you did. Especially now that Abby's here. I made a horrible mistake with Kate. I made an even worse one. And I lashed out at you and blamed you for the fallout from that letter. I think, I think if I had come to you privately, then you could have handled Mom more carefully, you know? And I don't think it would have been quite as hurtful if she hadn't heard it in a room full of people. I, I think that it wouldn't have been any less hurtful. And I think no matter how what happened it would have caused your mother just as much pain you're just trying to make me feel better i'm trying to tell you the truth tell you how i feel this is all on me and no one else and you're right we can't go back we can't change that It's been a very long day. I'm a little tired, so I think I'm just going to head back to the Salem Inn and go to bed early. Not before I apologize. For what? For putting you on the spot. When I asked in front of Jack if it would be all right with you if he stayed for Thanksgiving dinner, I mean, what was I doing? You're still hurting, and you need time. Thank you so much for understanding. There was gonna be a but because you know me <laughs> because you know i always put in my two cents so here goes and the subject is jack i'm angry at him too when he showed up at the door with the flowers i slammed it in his face he said he wasn't welcome in this house anymore and then he began to talk about what you mean to him how sad how lonely he was when you were in that coma and how frightened he was that he was losing you. Jennifer, my heart went out to him. That guy, that wonderful guy, loves you to the ends of the earth. Julie, let me finish. Today was too soon, understood. Maybe tomorrow's going to be too soon also. But the day will come when you're ready. Time heals all wounds, darling. It's true. You know that. You've lived it. So, I have to ask, in time, 